every single second counted. This is what makes you make the seconds of your life make you count. And what you dedicate your time to will dedicate how valuable you are in your life. It's not going to determine yeah. how valuable you are in my life. It's going to determine how valuable you are in your life. When you go to a job, they make you clock in because they got to see how much time you spent so they can know how much money to pay you. The universe works the same way. If you don't right. spend time in your spiritual job, then you won't get paid that big spiritual check like other big spiritual people getting. And you wonder why certain people is receiving certain things. And you wonder why certain people is receiving and perceiving and manifesting certain realities. It's simply because they pay attention to the world where it really comes from. Awesome. And that world ain't got nothing to do with the physical. And so I always, I always tell people that, you know, number one, the number one thing I can say the common denominator is I always believed in the invisible. I always believed in 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 religion. I always believed in magic. I always believed in I always believed in fantasy on TV. Like when I see Lord of the Rings, I really believe that. I really believe that there's a reality like that. I really believe that life mimics those realities minus the CGI, right? I really believe that these are actual stories telling us about who we are as people. They're not just movies. I don't think trillionaires pay billionaires to pay millionaires just to entertain you because you're special. I think they're entertaining you because you hold the key to your ascension. And this is how they can tell you. The game is real. They can't just come out and say, hey, this is how you make it to paradise. But they can leave some clues. They, life can give you a few encounters. Life can show you a few ways and, and a few angels in disguise to come sit down and talk to you and you think it was just a homeless person or you thought it was just a person you was doing an interview with or you thought it was just this person you were sitting down next to at the bus stop, but it was really just another omnipresent aspect of the creator communicating with you. Another person with a unique set of footprints, a unique set of DNA, talking to another person with a unique set of footprints and a unique set of DNA, gaining what we supposed to be gaining. And this is what built me. Everything built me. It's not one thing. It was the pain. It was the pleasures. Because I had a great childhood, even though I had a hellish childhood. My childhood was hellish, but my mother's unconditional love made it great. I never experienced the unconditional love like her. This is why. This is what, this is what shit me. Of course. Sure. Right? This, you know, this, is, this, is, this is what, when she died, that's what, that's what made me like, oh, shit, fuck the world. Because the unconditional love is gone. Oh. Nobody loves like nobody. Nobody gonna love me how she loved me. She the one that's gonna. She the one that's gonna see no wrong in me. She ain't gonna see no fault in me. She gonna. She gonna. She, and she gonna put me in my place when I need to the right way. And I learned that from her. And this is what I do now. This right. is what I do. Now, Rance, everybody. Uh, Doctor Dr. Rance, you had no education right growing up, right? Yet you were able to find your true identity and also experiencing a positive um, changes well, in your remember, life. Well, remember, I did. I can. I can say this. Let's let's say this. I want to ask you about the educa education. So let's uh, let's understand. There are two perceptions of education. Yeah, I wanted to There's ask you, does it mean that, no, um, I wanted to ask you this question, right? Does it mean that having education is not as important as um, people perceive or people believe? Well, this is, so that's why I'm about to answer. There are two perceptions to education. There is the perception of modern day that feels like getting into debt and going to a building and reading these curriculums that a board and staff put together for you to learn. And if you don't learn it this way and in this time and this pace, then you don't meet these standards and requirements. That is not education. That is training you to become a certain thing in a certain field. True education. Now the word, let's, let's understand the word education. The word education comes from the root word, Latin word, educo. Okay, and educo means from within. And so when you are truly becoming educated, you are truly gaining knowledge. Well, what is the ultimate knowledge? Know thyself. The knowledge of self is the ultimate education. The knowledge of self is the ultimate liberation. So there's the perception of going to school and getting that training. 
which I, it per, me personally, like my daughter, I'm she's not going to the educational system. I'm going to be her educator. I'm going to teach her math, science, arithmetic. I'm going to teach her metaphysics. I'm going to teach her everything that she needs to know because I feel like I know more than the school. Um, but for those who don't know more than the school, the Bible says, study to show yourself approved in Second Timothy 2 and 15. So study whatever you need to study. But the, but honestly, the government is not supposed to be raising and teaching our children. we got 24 hours in a day. Remember this, people. We have 24 hours in a day. Energy flows where attention goes and time is money. If there are 24 hours in a day and your child spends 8 to 9 to 10 hours at school, right? That means that the school has more of your child's time than you, which means that you will not really have the ultimate authority or the ultimate presence or the ultimate respect from your child because there is somebody that puts in more time with your child than you. This is this is why you see people, this is why you see children killing their parents. This is why you see children shooting up the schools because the parental presence and the parental respect and the and the actual temperament or the calm temperament and the peace that comes from that type of respect is absent because we don't raise our kids anymore. So education is the knowledge itself. And my mother and my father taught me one thing. If, if, if they didn't teach me all arithmetic. They didn't teach me all everything. They taught me read. No matter what, you better know how to read. And you better know how to do it good. And so for my punishments, my punishments was reading and my pleasure was reading. Thank you, Dr. Vance Derbo. Yeah. Really appreciate right. your professional insight to write up. Thank you so much once again. As an accomplished healer, have you tried to heal any injuries, right, or cure diseases of any of your clients? Excuse me? Um, as an accomplished healer, which I know you have, have you tried right, um, to heal any injuries or cure any diseases of your clients? Oh, yes, I've, and it's great to live this life. Um, it's great to live. I like to call it the life behind the veil, the life behind the truth that you think is real, the life behind the lie that you think is real. And so I always tell people that there is cures for incurable diseases. Dr. Sabi was the person that educated me on how to cure incurable diseases. I met him in 2014 at the New Orleans Convention Center, and he is the one that completely turned my diet around. And let me speak loudly and clearly. I know this for a fact because I was the first one to be healed. I was the one that was suffering from hepatitis C. I was the one that was suffering suffering from HPV. I was the one that was suffering from obesity. I was a 300 pounds. I was the one that was suffering from these things. So how did I go from eating pork, eating pigs, eating cows, eating chickens, eating junk food, drinking sodas, you know, doing drugs, being in the streets, selling drugs, doing all of this wickedness, hurting myself, killing myself. And I met this man, right? Met this man because I spiritually, I knew what I was supposed to be doing, but I still wasn't, I still didn't get up and I didn't go do it, right? You know, that level where you know what to do, but you're, you're I, was, I was spiritually lazy. Let's get, let's, let's, let's tell a call a spade a spade. I was spiritually lazy. I was mentally lazy. I was beat up. I was drawn down. I, was, I, I had given up on life. Like, what else do I got to do? I, the, the cards are against me. I got this. I got that wrong. I got this wrong. I got that wrong. But I always maintain a positive mind. And so that positive mind brought me to meeting Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi educated on alkaline living. Alkaline living turned me into a complete 100%. Um, it, I grew and I did parts, you know, grew into veganism. And I'm a, you know, I'm a raw vegan. I'm a juicer. Um, mainly juice and uh, um, raw fruits and vegetables, no cooked food, right? And I maintained this regimen and I created a regimen that has healed thousands of people. And these thousands of people are literally in disease-free, suffering, everything ranging from, I've healed everything ranging from HIV, cancer, you name it, full-blown full, full blown AIDS, 
you name it, you name it. You we're talking about autism, reverse autism in six year old children. We reverse we, we reverse sickle cell anemia. You name it. Because the body is a machine, the brain is a computer, and I've cracked the codes to that machine and computer. And all we have to know is how to properly introduce re the removal of inflammation, the removal of excess mucus, the removal of negative germs, the removal of negative bacteria. And the Bible tells you how to do it when it says God flooded the earth. So we flood the body. My, and my way is different than Dr. Sabies because I use an oil-based intracellular cleanse. He uses a capsule. Um, he uses a capsule powder-based um, intracellular cleanse. I use a oil-based intracellular cleanse. And literally, we I've healed the, I've healed the impossible so much so that when I tell people I've healed this, people say, "Hell no, you're lying." You got. And so now what we're about to do we're about to do this case studies. And we're about to, well, the people who have already been here, we're going to get, we're going to get their testimonies. And then as well as at my, um, at my eco village here, as, as you see, we're going to get people to come here and we're going to do live diagnostics, getting them to come before and after diagnostics to show you that miracle food is the ultimate number one detox and cleanse on the market. 43% of our customer base is a return customer base, meaning 43% of our income come from people that's returning and say, give me more. And so I love that about our brand. And I love that about the way that is growing and the way that is moving. Awesome. Thank you for that. Right. I can only wish you best of luck. Right. Um, Dr. Um, um, what's the social media angel that we can get into? So you can just chakra doctor. You can put chakra doctor into the Google. And I am very Googleable. <laughs> I'm I very Googleable. I love you can that. Just Google Shock Doctor and it will be straight to me. All right. All right. That's all. <laughs> there's, only, there's only one Shock Doctor. License and trade is a license and trademark name. There's only one business doing business under Shock Doctor. So all, all right. you got to do is just Google Shock Doctor and it'll bring you right to Reverend Rand's Dumb Ball the Shock Doctor ASAP oh. on all platforms. You can just Google, you know. Um, just Google, just Google me, though. Just Google Shocker Doctor and the rest is history. Great. So do you have any parting words you'd like to share with my audience? Yes. The final word I would like to share to your audience is buckle down the hatches, stay humble, and keep going. I don't care because life is tough. That's what life was meant to be. Obviously, she was meant to be tough or she wouldn't be tough. So you got to learn how to beat the toughness. And I don't care how bad you got it in life. If you still living, there is time for you to accomplish good in your life. And as long as you know that, as long as you hear that, then the rest is up to you. The ball is in your court. Great. Great motivation you have here, Dr. Rance Dub. I really appreciate your professional insight, especially on spirituality and talking about your background. Really inspired and motivated, I tell you. Right. I wish you all the best of luck in all the in, um projects that you're working on presently and also in the future, right? Yeah, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, y'all uh, just go to my YouTube channel and y'all go to my YouTube channels. Google Shock, um, go to YouTube and put in Shocker Doctor. Follow me on YouTube. Go to my website um, at shockerdoctor.org and sign up for my newsletter and you receive a positive word from me, free readings and all kind of free gifts, um, free positive energy from me. And yeah, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Sure. Thank you for joining me on the show today. It's really been a worthwhile time having Dr. Rans Jobo on the show today. Right. If you want to catch up with any of my missed episodes, as I said earlier, you can go online and search for Lawa Little by Mobile as Stevie, just like Dr. Rans said. I'm also Googled. <laughs> so just go online and search for Lawa Lift. And you're going to have an amazing time listening to the podcast talk show. Till I come your way, I need it to be good. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Hold on. Oh, wow. You say, take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance?